don't have an ambition of 100% as per the ambition of other students. You have your own ambition. There should be a 10%, 20%. Because when you surpass this 10, 20%, you can overcome your fear. And you will develop your emotional balance. Okay. And then this balance you can use to gain your further growth yes, and further confidence. Yes, and it is very important for generalized anxiety disorder, such people, uh, they are like typically weak people. So it is very important to have strenuous exercises, work exercises, yes. and uh, challenging exercises, resistance-based exercises. Yes. Okay. Sir, yeah. uh, in this case, actually doctor has prescribed them for three months medicine. So the parents were, they were uh, saying that, uh, ma'am, since she is having medicine, she is unable to walk or she is, the, most of the time she is lethargic and everything. So I suggested I cannot do anything about the medicine. I'll do the therapy, but for medicine, you need to speak to a psychiatrist. So you educate no. parents that yes, psychiatric medications have side effects. Yes, sir. Now it is between them and psychiatrists to decide how longer they want to continue the medications yes, because every psychiatric medication will have a side effect now always for any medicine you check what is the risk versus benefit yes, okay. if you as a parent or you as a psychiatrist think that you now this uh, risk is higher or the dysfunction is higher as compared to the benefit of the medicines you decide what should be your next step okay being a counselor i will not be able to advise you but i can tell you one thing how to decide okay so dysfunction versus function without yes. medicine she has some dysfunction okay yes. she's at this level yes. if with medicines her dysfunction is more yes. then you need to take a decision yes sir. if with medicines her dysfunction is less and benefits are more then yes, this reason to continue the medicines. Yes, sir. But so actually they were there in uh, Chennai for a few days only. So maybe the doctor, because they haven't spoken to the doctor after that. So maybe he is not aware that she is having this drastic uh, dysfunction. So can I suggest them to speak to the doctor that these medicines are making her so lethargic. So if, if the doses can be reduced or something else can be done. So rather than uh, you suggesting them to talk to the doctor for reducing the dose or this thing, you yes. just tell them to talk to the doctor for the side effects. Okay, right, sir. Without yes. mentioning the statement that yes. for reducing medications, because yes, sir. also tell them that when you talk to psychiatrist, you should avoid taking the name of the counselor. Okay. Because the psychiatrist may not like the influence of the yes, counselor sir. or the medication aspect. Yes, and sir. you as a parent are a capable person to decide how longer you want to take medications with the consultation of your okay. second. Okay, so if you say the statement, parents will understand what they need to do. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. So I had one session with the girl and one session with the parents. So with parents, I took all the history and everything. Sir, after the first session, I took the first session. It was the post lunch session. So after uh, the session, the girl went and she slept. So by when in the evening she got up, she started crying and she started complaining the same problem. So they gave me a call and then online counseling I did. I did the EFT and all these things to reduce her anxiety and the symptoms so it helped me a lot because uh, after some time the kid breathing exercise okay yes sir yes sir i did be breathing it's brain breathing exercise yes sir if i do that will be useful for her you educate her for that okay and uh, tell her to uh, tell her parents to take her for a walk on a daily basis yes, okay and uh, involve her in some cooking or some hobbies or something, right? So that really helps. And uh, typically those who face anxiety disorder at teenage age, they tend to have this episode for a longer time. Okay. And uh, uh, if they depend on medications every time, uh, this is not a... Not. Yes. functional part 
So, uh, sir, one more thing, sir. Maybe I'm uh, wrong, sir, because I don't have much knowledge in this uh, um, uh, about the somatoform disorder. I know CBT and the techniques which I have learned in emotional wellness coach. So I'm going with that. But sir, uh, one thing, sir. Sir, as per this book, which we have got from NHCA, the Pearson's book, Psycho uh, Psychological Disorders book. Uh, it's the uh, abnormal psychology book. I tell you, Sarita. Sir. So that book is not in the syllabus anymore. Okay, sir. In the syllabus, now this book is there. Yes, sir. So this is a most practical book. Yes, sir. If you see most, uh, that was a whole edition book of earlier for earlier students. Yes, sir. If you see in the market, most of the psychology books, they are so much theoretical. Yes, and they will talk of, okay, if someone has this thing, then you need to do... No, this, sir. Actually, I'm not talking about that, sir, because for that, I'm referring our uh, psychology book, which you have given, and it is uh, actually very helpful. But act uh, this book, Abnormal Psychology, I was checking for the criteria of somatoform disorder. They say at least the sim uh, symptoms will be persi persi persistent for at least six months. So, and in some other books also, I was checking. So, this thing was there that all the symptoms which are happening on and off, it should be pers persistent for at least six months. But in this case, uh, 18th, this thing happened for the first time. Before that, nothing has happened. And the doctors have given her the prescription and they have written it is a somatoform disorder. And they showed her in Apollo uh, Hospital in Chennai. So I was just wondering whether I am wrong or this is this whole thing is right or wrong. I, I don't know, sir. I don't have the answer. In the chat, Mina has written something very relevant for your answer. And uh, uh, psychiatrists tend to take a decision on the basis of the history which parents give. Okay. And they take a decision on the basis of their previous experience and all those things. Many criteria. Um, mm -hmm. So many times, uh, counseling, lifestyle modifications, certain techniques, certain breathing exercises that helps the client, okay, and with lesser side effects, okay. So always every every doctor is going to evaluate, every counselor is going to evaluate what are the risks versus benefit, okay, yes, right. Um, right. We will stay out of the discussion about what to do about the medications. Okay, sir. Okay, that, sir. Thank you so much. Sir. That we will leave it with the psychiatrists and parents. Okay, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Good case, sir. Sorry. So, from the counselor perspective, we will always focus on talking to the client, trying to underline the, uh, find out the cause, using non-pharmacological management, giving the tips to the client, telling the uh, lifestyle modifications, and be available for a talk and bilateral communication. We avoid the diagnosis and we also avoid medications or taking decisions or influencing the client on the part of the medication. 